Today, we will be feeding our fish and fry some live baby brine shrimp. And this video will cover a very cheap, tried and true DIY method for hatching brine shrimp eggs. To get started, we've picked up a few basic ingredients including a Gatorade bottle, a regular bottle of water, some Himalayan salt, and some bicarb or baking soda. Other materials that you'll require include a desk lamp, an air pump, some soft airline tubing, a teaspoon, a straw, a 5ml pipette, an air check valve, and some brine shrimp eggs. Now, before we get started, be sure to enjoy your beverage and replenish those electrolytes because we only need to use the empty plastic bottles. This Gatorade bottle will make a standing base for our water bottle hatchery. So using a knife, we've cut and removed the top half of the bottle and cleared out the wrapping. The second water bottle will make the actual brine shrimp hatchery. For this bottle, we cut the bottom and close the top with the bottle cap. We now prepare our hatchery by inverting the smaller water bottle and placing it into the Gatorade bottle stand. This should give us a stable setup, preventing the hatchery from tipping over. We pour about 500 ml of tap water. We add two teaspoons of non-iodized salt, in our case, Himalayan pink salt. Add one quarter teaspoon of bicarb soda to adjust the water pH to about eight or nine. We now link up the air pump unit by cutting about 15 to 20 centimeters of our airline tubing on one end to install the air check valve. When this is done, we connect the output end with our straw for a steady delivery of air. We add our brine shrimp eggs. Now this packet contains about one teaspoon or five grams of eggs. Add the straw to start aerating the hatchery. Be sure to aim the straw toward the bottom cap. As this is a 500 ml setup, you can get away with setting the air pump on low or medium strength. In order to trigger the hatching process, we also need light. So we set up our lamp directly beside the hatchery. Under the right conditions, these brine shrimp eggs should hatch within 18 to 24 hours. Closer to the time you're ready to harvest, you'll be able to see the newly hatched baby brine shrimp swimming inside the hatchery bottle. You can remove the air bubbler and leave the hatchery to sit still for about 10 minutes. This should be plenty time for the contents within the bottle to separate into distinct layers. I've pulled up some digital microscope clips here in the bottom of the screen. So floating on the top layer, we'll find empty eggshells left behind from the hatching process. Just beneath this top layer, you might be lucky to spot some baby brine shrimp emerging from their shells as they hatch. And any unhatched brine shrimp eggs will sink to the bottom and collect at the bottle cap. Using your pipette, you can simply extract the baby brine shrimp from the bottom half of the hatchery around the bottle neck and shoulder, just above the bottle cap. This area usually gives the largest load of baby brine shrimp with a low contamination of eggs. Once you've collected your sample, you can feed your fish directly or rinse your sample under tap water beforehand. The baby brine shrimp will survive in fresh water for a few hours and their short movements will entice your fish to eat them. We hope you found this video helpful. If it was, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you had any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.